I'm going to be needing uh, two filters because uh, I'm getting another tank. It's going to be a 40 gallon breeder. And I need to have both tanks running at the same time, temporarily, because uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to have one tank and it's going to be the 40 gallon breeder. Uh, the 29 is going to be no more. Anyway, so I, I need to seed the uh, filter. And how am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to tell you. I have a, a Eheim 2213 that I used to run on this filter. I mean, on this tank. And I'm going to show it to you. It's this one right here. Uh, this is a 2213, like I said before, and I need to seed it, you know, build up the good bacteria. So uh, the way I'm doing it is I took uh, uh, the filter pad, a dirty filter pad from an external filter that I've been running for a while. And uh, I put it in a bowl and I added some aquarium water and I cleaned it. I actually cleaned the uh, uh, the uh, the filter pad, and the water got really, really dirty. But that's good bacteria. There's a lot of good bacteria in there. And what I did was I poured it into uh, into this uh, uh, canister filter, the Eheim, and um, and I put everything else, the uh, the uh, the sponges. <clears throat> the biomedia, which is also Eheims, and um, and some polyfill down at the bottom. So uh, and then and then I set it up on uh, on this 29 gallon tank, and uh, and I turned it on. So the dirty water, it has to go through the sponges. And the uh, polyfill before it hits the uh, the biomedia, ceramic, you know, ceramic media. So that's how uh, how I'm doing it. Hopefully, uh, by the time I get the tank, uh, this filter will uh, have some uh, some buildup of good bacteria, you know, and. Um, Gonna have both tanks running for for a little while, you know, but I, I I can't have two of them because I just don't have the space, you know. But anyway, that's how um, that's how I uh, seed a new a new canister filter. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't. And with that, we say peace. And don't forget to share the video, please.